Hi, my name is Renee Carberry. I'm a mid-year engineering graduate and I want to work on the Melbourne Metro Rail project. In the next few minutes of this video, I hope to show you my understanding of the project, how it interests me and why I'm right for the graduate program. I was first introduced to the Melbourne Metro Rail project early this year in the final semester of my degree. I worked as part of a team to produce an options appraisal for the proposed station locations. The scale and scope of the project, as well as our task to adopt an integrated design approach, made me deeply interested in the work and excited by the challenge we had to tackle. Our stakeholder assessment stage had us vigorously debating the importance and power of each stakeholder we considered. From analysis of their wants, needs and requirements, and other research, we developed a list of key issues that would go on to form the basis of our appraisal. The diverse set of criteria was assessed through an any means necessary approach, including quantitative and qualitative means. We were not given formulae or told how to devise a method to compare proposed station locations. This real world problem solving is what I love about engineering, as it sets both a technical and an imaginative or creative challenge. To work on a project of the scale and scope of the Melbourne Metro Rail project is an exciting prospect. I believe I have good conceptual thinking skills and I think I could make a contribution to the project team through what I have learned today about integrated design. I like being involved in solving complex problems. I know that while individual contributions are vital, it is a stimulation of discussion and exchange in a team that brings forth some of the most creative outcomes, which is why I want to work in the Melbourne Metro Rail Authority's multidisciplinary team. I am a good communicator and have experience working closely with professionals in fast-paced, high-pressure conditions. The stakeholder engagement element of the project fascinates me and I would love to explore how to adopt some of the feedback the team is receiving into a project that has already undergone significant planning. Why did you come here today? Uh, because the, one of the tunnels goes very, very close to under our house. Did you feel that you got some good information? Are you still pretty concerned? Um, I guess it allayed some fears, especially about what's going to happen on a ground level but in regard noise and vibration, no. Now not everyone is going to get what they want, but clearly the team are trying to engage with stakeholders, including the public. I'm here with Emma from the Melbourne Metro Rail Authority. I'm going to talk about the interactive map that's online that is open to the general public. Yeah, so we're seeing a lot of really great feedback coming through and all that feedback at the moment is going through to our specialist teams for consideration in their report. I can excel in listening to and eliciting the needs of stakeholders. I would add value to the team. The logistics of delivering such a large project is an interesting challenge. We're very aware that there will be some unavoidable impacts on the surface while we're building this massive project. That may mean we, we have to relocate some tram routes. An interesting engineering challenge is that of potential flooding at Arden Station. How is the engineering team going to design for the high groundwater table and the floodplain present at Arden Station? The Arden uh, precinct there that we're building the station is within the 100 year flood uh, levels. So there is a risk at that location of um, the flood levels um, impacting on construction. Are the effects of climate change being considered in the 100 year flood design? Considering federal funding has not been confirmed how much of the budget can be allocated to long-term design for climate change. I am also interested in developing engineering skills in sustainable transport infrastructure, as well as green building design. It is one of the key reasons I want to work on this project. What was the biggest challenge uh, sustainability-wise coming into such a, a large project? I guess um, any project like this, uh, a building or a, or a civil infrastructure project, is just the scale of works and the amount of concrete and other materials that go into it. 
Um, and so what we're doing is uh, working with Green Star Ratings to come up with a, a rating tool for underground stations for projects like this. Um, and, and hopefully we can work through that and, and minimise our footprint as much as possible. Providing green infrastructure for a growing population is a means of transport for the 21st century that alleviates congestion problems and enhances access to Melbourne services. Importantly, it helps people connect with and contribute to our music, food, art and culture. Working on the Melbourne Metro Rail project will provide real public value and give meaning to my career. It would be an honour to have the chance to join the team.